This is Eagle Al, and today, yes, I'm Sunday night quarterbacking it. Not Monday night or Monday morning. I'm Sunday night quarterbacking it, and I'm giving my initial reaction to the Patriots and Eagles. Yes, it was ugly. I'd rather have an ugly win than a pretty loss, but let's get straight into it. All right, so before I go in, and yes, before I go in, I want to give somebody the benefit of the doubt because I was going to put them in my bad category. Is Jalen Hurts? I, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt just a little bit. It's because the play calling was horrendous, but he did miss a couple open guys. But when I rewatched it just a little bit, um, the offensive line was horrible. I mean, if he don't got time to throw the ball. What he's supposed to do. Then the offensive coordinator not giving him nothing to adjust to, not really giving him no hot routes. So I want to give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. But Jalen Hurts is coming off an MVP caliber season. He do need to take some blame for his bad play. But just a little bit because the offensive coordinator, Brian Johnson, we got to give him time. But it was horrendous. But Let's start with the good first. Let, let's just go with the good because there's only a few good I could take out this game. It's A, we won. That's a good. B, honestly, the unit I was worried about the most actually impressed me with special teams. Um, The Gunners were great and the Josh Job and Sidney Brown. Aaron Sippos did have one hiccup, but all in all, he didn't punt that bad. Come on, Jake Elliott was flawless. Jake Elliott deserves the game ball or Jalen Carter, either one. Um, shoot, he was flawless. Like I said, he gave us nine points in the second half. So that that definitely really helped. We couldn't get in the end zone. Um, Jalen Carter, Jalen Carter was awesome. I'll probably do a video about him tomorrow, specifically about him and the rookies and the young guys for sure. They wasn't bad at all. Um, can it gain well? I would say the first half, especially that first drive, he wasn't that bad. I believe Swift didn't give him, get enough chances to show who he is. But then when I seen him, he dropped the ball, just gave me Miles Sanders flashbacks. I, I don't think they put him in a great position to win, but I, I guess that's a good um, well, defense defense first half first quarter they get a pick six Darius Slay was awesome uh defensive line was awesome but all in all the secondary wasn't that great uh James Bradbury was wasn't that great I actually like how Josh Job came in to me he kind of played better than James Bradbury in my opinion Reed Blankenship was awesome I think Reed Blankenship almost should have had a pick but they didn't call the offensive pass interference we was disciplined for the most part, but then the penalties start racking up just a little bit. But for the most part, for a week one game, we were somewhat disciplined. It's like 50-50. You could go, well, we was undisciplined. Well, we were disciplined. Um, Yeah, that's the good. Now, let's get into the bad. Let, let, let's just get into it, man. Brian Johnson. Brian freaking Johnson. First and 20, you throw the ball. Third and 20, you run the ball. Not good play calling, bruh. Not great play calling, bruh. First drive, when we scored the field goal, why wasn't there no hot routes? Why wasn't there no hot routes? I'm not sure if that's on Brian Johnson or if that's on Devontae Smith, which I forgot to add home to the good. Devontae Smith had a good game. That first drive, that was supposed to be a touchdown. Why wasn't there no hot routes? You see the blitz coming. They bring in more blitzes than we had blockers. And nobody hot routes? Really? You just gave a free sack? That play calling was horrendous. Horrendous. All Brian Johnson, this is week one. I'm really trying not to overreact to this, but all Brian Johnson had to do in his role is keep Shane Stein playbook and just add hot routes. That's all he had to do. 
You ain't had to get fancy. You ain't had to do all these crazy calls, all these Jalen Hurts running up the middle. You get him popped and he fumble. That was a hard hit. Don't get me wrong. That was a hard hit. It almost cost us the game, but it was a bad play call. That play shouldn't have been called. Yeah, three dynamic running backs. If you want to run it out the gut, give it to Gainwell, give it to Swift, or even give it to Boston Scott. Ran Jalen Hurts too much. Um, I got to see the all 22 because there's no way you got Smitty and AJ Brown and Dallas Goddard. None of them can get open. Also, about the Dallas Goddard thing, got to give that a little bit of the benefit of the doubt, too, because I remember week one last year, a lot of people were worried. It was like, yo, A.J. Brown is good, but Devontae Smith had no catches. And then Devontae Smith, as the season went on, had over a thousand yards. So you got to give it time with Dallas Goddard. He will work his way into the offense. Trust me, he will. Hell, I start missing the tight end screens. But, man, Brian Johnson, man, he cannot call a play at all. Now, let me get on that offensive line. Lane Johnson, love you, dog. But I seen you play one of your worst games, bro. Uh, Jordan Malata, love you, dog. You had a very, very bad holding call. Didn't look too good, bro. Jason Kelsey, bad snap, bro. Bad snap. We got bailed out by a flag. Offensive line was horrendous. And honestly, the guy who had the best game just looking at the game at the offensive line was Cam Jurgens. Cam Jurgens had the best game on the offensive line. That makes no sense. But I already knew going into this game, this Patriots defensive line was a wrecking ball. They are a wrecking ball. Um... Shoot, is it time to get into that defense? Where should I start? Where should I start? Middle of the field. Linebackers and safeties. Eagles, what are we doing about this Justin Evans thing? What are we doing about this Justin Evans thing? It's no way. No way he's better than Sidney Brown. I ain't buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it, bruh. It's no way Justin Nevis is better than Sidney Brown. No way. Edmonds, I am 5'7 and like 198, 200 pounds. I think I could beat Edmonds in the race. Oh my God, the kid looks slow. Then they tried to move him to linebacker when the Kobe Dean got hurt. He was atrocious. Howie Roseman, we got to fix that. Howie, we have to fix that. If Sidney Brown is worse than Justin Evans and Edmonds, um, you need to trade for a safety immediately. I don't trust the Kobe Dean health. I'm sorry. You need another linebacker, man. You need another linebacker because if the Patriots was able to do that to the middle of the field, unless Slate is following Justin Jefferson, they're going to line Justin Jefferson up Thursday in the middle of the field and he's going to eat. Yes, I think he almost had like 200 yards today. He's going to eat. Not saying we're not going to win, but. Damn it, Justin Jefferson is going to get his revenge and is going to eat if we don't fix the middle of the field. I mean, you had Matt Jones looking like Tom Brady. I'm like, did they switch? Did, did Tom Brady come from the box into on the field? Because Matt Jones is eating right now. They At first, I seen they was trying to go to the outside. They like, nope, that ain't working. They start attacking them linebackers. They start attacking them safeties. And the only safety that they couldn't get over on is Reed Blankenship. And when he went down, I almost scored a heart attack. But I'm happy he came back up and did his thing. But that middle of the field, if you don't fix that, 
the offense gonna have to step up big time because we gonna have to win some shootouts. We gonna have to win some shootouts if they don't fit the middle of that field. Again, them linebackers, atrocious, especially in coverage. Atrocious. Safeties was bad. Defensive line, even including Dara Barnett, was was really good. Jordan Davis got a forced fumble. I I think I'm, I'm starting to think I was wrong on Jordan Davis. Uh, Jalen Carter, man, I'm happy he was able to get one a sack because he was home every single time. But the the corners cut hold. He was home every single time. Um, Josh Sweat looked good. Where you at, Reddick? Hassan Reddick, where you at? You were missing in action. A again, these are initial reactions because it took Hassan Reddick like three to four weeks last year to get it going. But I'm knocking. Where you at, Hassan Reddick? Where you at, bro? You can't have slow starts like this every single time. But. This is my initial reaction to the game. Um, Eagles, we got to play better, man. But I can't complain. That's what good teams do. And what do good teams do? They escape with wins. That's what good teams do. Even if we're having a bad day, that's what good teams do. And even if you look at going into the season, who you thought were the top-tier quarterbacks and the top-tier teams? Eagles. They got their dub. Cincinnati scored three points and Joe Burrow threw for 82 yards and he's the highest paid quarterback. I'm just saying week ones are really tricky, especially if you haven't played football in a long time. It can get really dicey. Justin Herbert, he a top tier quarterback, right? Wasn't that great. He wasn't that great. Who y'all say? Deshaun Watson wasn't that great. I just seen the first half of the Cowboys game. Dak Prescott, top tier quarterback. You look at the score, great, but his stats, last time I seen him going into the half, he was 7 to 14, I think a 60 yards or something like that. Not that great. So again, these top tier quarterbacks, even Jalen Hurts, not that great. These top tier quarterbacks, man, they did not have the best week one. You know who your team is projected to be by week eight week nine week 10 that will let you know but a lot of these week one games were like warm-up games lamar jackson wasn't that great so that's why i'm not trying to go too hard week one but i have to get my initial reaction um, too bad our turnaround time is way too quick. I think it's way too quick because you're gonna have a hungry Vikings coming into the link. They just lost. We just won, but we it was an ugly win, and this is something we needed because now we're going to the next game. Maybe some adjustments, maybe some improvements because them coordinators, man, look like rookies. I, Sean Desai, you told me. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't giving up free yards, but if those if all those yards was earned, Jesus, you got some work to do. You got some work to do. But again, to look at those safeties, middle of the field, that's why I think I'm most disappointed. The middle of the field, I, I am the most disappointed, yes. Yes, I am. And I'm sorry, I'm scatterbrained. I'm trying to squeeze in everything I can. In this video, but let me go ahead and wrap it up, man. For real, this time. But hey, man, what do you think? Of how do you feel about the game? Ugly win, but that man, uh, Jalen Carter, was a dog. And we got some work to do. How we got to make some calls? But this is Eagle Al, man. I'm up.